All right, hello, and welcome to my first YouTube video. Woo! I have my emotional support boyfriend over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's get started. So I thought I would just uh, do my makeup over here and kind of talk about what I'd like to do on this channel. So um, I already washed and moisturized my face. So I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna prime with this uh, Tula Protect and Glow sunscreen right here. So, the beauty community I feel right now is kind of really all about trying new things, all the new releases, and they have these huge collections and stuff, um, which I can see why that's important, you know? Um, you know, so you can see what you want to, what you're interested in and get some reviews and stuff like that. Um, but I don't think there's anybody talking about, uh, finishing up what you have and living sustainably. And I think it's so easy to be sustainable when it comes to the beauty industry, but nobody talks about it. So... I think this is going to be a, a really great journey to go on. So um, this primer right here is cruelty free. Um, I'm going to hopefully use all cruelty free products in this video. So the next product I'm going to go in is my foundation. This is the, the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. Um, I actually just got this for a competition that I went to um, in my tan shade and I loved it so much I got it for my not tan shade, <laughs> my regular skin. Uh, all of Tarte is cruelty free and this foundation is also a vegan formula which is really great. So when it comes to sustainability in the beauty industry there's a couple of things that I look for. There's cruelty free, there's vegan, and then there's sustainable packaging. I'm not really going to talk about clean ingredients. Um, clean ingredients is very polarizing. Um, and I personally believe that um, from the earth does not mean good for you. Just think about how many people have seasonal allergies. Um, if that's something that you look for, that's absolutely great. Um, but it's not that important to me. So if we go down the list, cruelty-free, it's so easy to find cruelty-free brands at any price point, anywhere from, from drugstore to kind of mid-range to not so much in luxury, but there's like Hourglass um, is cruelty-free. Um, and then we go to vegan. There aren't a lot of brands that are totally vegan. Usually they just have vegan products in their line that will be listed. Um, in the description though you'll you'll able be able to tell if it's vegan in the description so like this this foundation that I just used right here so this is one pump actually and it looks really nice um, it does say that it's matte but the uh, the Tula products that I use underneath gives it just a more of a satin finish the lights are making it look a little bit more glowier but it does settle down a little bit so the next product I'm gonna go in with is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer right here. So moving back down our line, uh, we then have sustainable packaging, which is actually quite difficult to find, um, but it's still out there like um, in hair care products, um, Revlon uses sustainable packaging. Pacifica uses sustainable and recyclable packaging for most of their products. They use glass packaging, which is really nice. Um, it makes it feel really luxurious, too, to have that glass packaging, and you can recycle it at the end of the day, which is awesome. So, as I finish blending in my concealer, I'll tell you a little bit about me. Um, I am a professional dance instructor. Um, and I compete. I have a partner that I compete professionally with. Um, I'm currently saving up to move out of my house. So this is, this is my room in my parents' house right now. So 
hopefully we can we can come along on this exciting journey of moving out and adulting together. That's very exciting. Um, I have a dog. Her name is Gucci. She's the most precious thing ever. I actually just took her to the vet this morning because she needs to get a dental cleaning. <laughs> Um, yeah, and that's me. The next product, I'm going to go in the, the, everything is all rubbed off on here, but it's the Revolution Loose Setting Powder. Um, so like I said, I am a dance instructor, which means, um, all day, um, I am walking around, dancing, moving. I have a very active job. And I have to look great while I do it. So all of these products that I use um, need to last all day through um, getting really hot and sweaty and dancing pretty much all day. So if you have, um, if you also have a a job where you have to be active or you you know you're in school and you do sports and stuff and you like wearing makeup this is going to be a really great routine for you because it is tested <laughs> by me and it lasts really really well all day so i just used that loose powder under my eyes right here with this um elf it's a blush brush, but it works really nice. I think it's a little bit too small for what I like for blush, but it works really nicely for the under eye, just packing on the powder down there. The next product that I'm gonna go in with is this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. I'm like almost done with it, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna need a new one soon. Um, this one's really great for just all over the face. Um, I'm gonna use it with another e.l.f. blush. Don't come for me, my, bl my brushes are dirty, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this is a complexion brush right here. And I'm just gonna use it to set the rest of my face. All right, the next product I'm gonna go in with is another Tarte product, the Park Ave Princess bronzer right here. I'm gonna use that to contour my face. So the next part of sustainability, if I haven't touched on this bef yet, is um, using what you have, which I think is the most important thing to do. So, you know, like I said before, all of these beauty YouTubers have these huge collections um, and they have it for a purpose. I'm not, you know, it's it's not a bad thing. This is their job. This is, it's what they do for a living. But they're never going to go through every single product that they have. Um, the nice thing about is that most of them do um, donate a lot of things and um, give things that they can't donate to friends and stuff like that. But um, realistically, they can never, it's, it's not realistic for the everyday person who likes to wear makeup. So, um, I'm hoping to, to show, um, that you can do all these different things, um, with a, with a smaller collection and still, you know, be able to switch up your look every single day if that's what you want or have a go-to look and, um, you know, try out different things every once in a while. Um, so the next product I'm going to go with. Uh, again, it's all it's all rubbed off here, but it's the the Milani, Milani uh, baked bronzer, and this is the shade four right here. Um, I like this because it's it's kind of sheer, um, and it looks really glowy, but it's actually um, it still does a nice job of warming up the skin. Just so I'm just gonna use that around the perimeter of my skin. This brush is, I have no idea <laughs> um, how to pronounce it, La Soie or something like that. Um, I think I got it from probably TJ Maxx or something. <laughs> but it's really nice because it has this very interesting shape that hugs the cheeks right here. And it's very dense, which is good for this kind of bronzer because it is so sheer. And I'm also going to take this onto my nose right here. And then under the chin. 
Okay, the next product I'm gonna go with in with is it's another Tarte product and the packaging is totally super broken. Um, but it's the Tarte blush in Party with three A's. Party. And I'm gonna use it on this um dirty <laughs> Alta cheek blush brush right here. It's a nice size, I think, for the face right here. Okay, and we're gonna finish up the face with a little bit of highlighter with this Ulta Beauty right here, face highlighting color stick in the shade Pixie Dust right here. It's a really nice. Um, it actually it looks kind of scary, but it's actually um, just quite quite natural. I like to just tap it on with my fingers right here, and it goes over really well. As you see, I powdered my whole face, but it goes over really well. It goes over the powder really well. Doesn't mess anything underneath. Okay, so the face is pretty much done right here. Um, so we're gonna move on to the eyes. Um, I'm gonna use this um, Morphe translucent eye primer, which is not cruelty free. I need to get a cruelty free eye primer. Um, I know Alta makes a really good one, but maybe there's another brand if you have any cruelty-free eye primers that you like, let me know, and I'll try them out. But I'm just going to tap that over my eyes. So, something, my skin type is, like, normal to dry. Um, actually, pretty much everything about me is, <laughs> is dry. My skin is dry, my eyes are dry, my nails are dry, my mouth is dry. <laughs> Um, except for my eyelids. My eyelids are actually, like, they can get quite oily. Um, which is quite unfortunate. It's kind of difficult. But, um, I just wish this primer was cruelty-free because it works so well, but I'm sure there are others out there. There has to be. So, now that the eyes are all set and primed, I'm going to go in to the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl eyeshadow palette right here. This is limited edition. I don't think it's available anymore. But I thought I would use it um, anyways because I have a set look that I do with it. And even if I run out of a couple of shades, I can still do the same look. So like I use this shade right here, which is called Muffin Top and then see me roll in right here. Um, but when I run out of these two shades, like this one, I can just go into this one, or maybe even this one. And then when I run out of this one, I can go into this one. And then there are so many beautiful lid options right here that I like to switch between. Um, Too Faced is cruelty free. Um, I don't know if they have any vegan products, but um, they make some, some really good quality eyeshadows. The formula of the mattes and the shimmers are really, really great. Um, there are a couple different formulas, I think, for the shimmers in here. So there are some that are a little just uh, a little bit more metallic, and then there are some that are uh, quite glittery in here. So I'm going in with the shade right up here called Flower Powder Power just to not necessarily set the primer, but just to give my crease shade something to blend into. I think it looks a little better when I do that. And I'm just using my finger to go in with that. And now I'm gonna go in with this Essence Eye Blender brush right here, just a nice, big, fluffy, dirty brush. <laughs> um, and go into the shade Muffin Top that I just showed you. And I'm gonna blend that into my crease and the outer portion of my eye right here. And now I'm going to go in with this teeny tiny Ulta Beauty um, eyeshadow brush. Um, this came with uh, one of those holiday, uh, like the, the big kits, makeup kits that they have. Um, this is pretty much the only brush that I use 
out of it. Um, but I'm just taking that and dipping it into that other shade that I showed you, See Me Rollin' right here. And I'm just going to use that to deepen up the crease and the outer edge right here. Just to create a little bit more dimension. I'm kind of going to go back and forth between these two brushes and those two shades just to make sure that everything's nice and smooth and blended. There we go, so that's the crease. And then, let's see here. I'll just go in with what I use pretty much every day. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Frost Those Buns. This one's one of those uh, nice, just shiny metallic shades. And I'm just gonna put that all over this naked part of the lid. Okay, almost done with the eyes. I'm gonna go in with this um, BD B Billion Dollar Brushes eyeshadow brush. It's a little angled, it's a little angled eyeshadow brush. You can see it right there. Um, and I'm going to go in with the the bottom shade right here. It's called Batter Up, and I'm just gonna use that to kind of line this outer portion of my eye right here. I like using deep eyeshadows in my palettes to kind of line my eyes. I don't usually use them in my crease or anything like that to do super dark, smoky eyes, but I think it looks really nice just as kind of a blown out liner to give the lashes a little bit more volume and dimension. Okay, and then the last thing, or one of the last things I'm going to do with the eyes is I'm going to go into this Physician's Formula little palette. I think it's called Sexy Eyes or, or something like that. And I'm going to go in with this lightest shade right here. I have to check and see if Physician's Formula is cruelty free. I'm sorry if it's not. Um, but I, the, that's the only thing that uh, the Too Faced palette doesn't have is a shade to just highlight the inner corner and the brow bone right here. So I'm going to use this this top shade right here with this just this flat eyeshadow brush um, and pop this color just to brighten up the inner corner and highlight the brow bone a little bit. Okay, there we go. And before I put any mascara on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with um, some brows. I'm gonna use this NYX Precision Brow Pencil right here. Um, this is in the shade Auburn right here. And as you can see, I do have red hair. It's a little bit deeper, but it is, it is definitely red. Um, the thing that I don't like about this is that it's, it's you'll see it, it it's quite orange. Um, which is mighty unfortunate. Um, it probably works well for people who dye their hair red, but for um, a lot of natural redheads, this is gonna look kind of ridiculous. Um, but I know there are better red pencils out there. I'm just trying to use this one up. Alright, the brows are done, and as you can see, these are super, super orange. They don't look too bad, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, definitely not the best shade match, at least for, for mine kind of red. 
Um, and before I go in um, with mascara, I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm going to set my face just to melt all of the powders in together. This is another Morning Proof product, which is not cruelty free, but I'll get another, like, I'll get another setting spray. Okay, there we go. This setting spray also adds a little bit of life back to the skin after all of those powders. Although I must say I usually do prefer a little bit more of a satin face just because, um, again, because of my job I do get, I, it's, it's, it's very active. <laughs> so it is nice to start out a little bit more on the matte side and then just let my, my natural sweat and oils warm up my face as I go throughout the day and I still end up looking um, very put together in the end of the night. Um, so finally, we're gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Big Mood waterproof mascara. This is the water, they have a non-waterproof and a waterproof version. Um, I go with the waterproof version, again, because sweaty. Um, a lot of people say they have trouble with taking off waterproof mascaras, but honestly, if you use a cleansing balm, I have never had any trouble taking off any sort of waterproof mascara, and I've tried quite a few. So if you want to um, try the waterproof version, maybe because a lot of mascaras smudge on you or something, this one doesn't smudge on me, um, just uh, just try a cleansing balm. I know um, actually e.l.f. has and e.l.f. is cruelty free, and it might be vegan too. E.l.f. Elf just came out with a, a cleansing balm in their holy hydration line. So I think I'm gonna have to go off camera to do this, but uh, here's, here's my lashes right now. And here's my lashes with the mascara, so you can see it just gives some nice curl length and volume. I did get some under my eyes, but I'll just flick that away when the mascara dries in maybe 10 minutes. Um, so last thing is gonna be lips. Um, I actually did get something that I got to that I thought I would try on camera. It's this little NYX butter gloss right here. Um, I believe uh, NYX is all cruelty free and I think the butter gloss is vegan too. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, before I go in with that, I am gonna go in with another NYX product, the Line Loud lip pencil right here just to line my lips and give a little bit of a little bit of depth on the outer side. Okay, there we go. There's my lips with the liner. And we'll go ahead and try this uh, butter gloss. This is the shade Madeline, which is kind of funny because that's my name. <laughs> okay, there's the gloss. Very beautiful. Not sticky, which is really nice. I'm sure a lot of people might won't uh, will like that. Um, and it's super cheap so, and very travel friendly because it's teeny tiny. So that's really great. Okay, so this is the uh, the finished makeup look. This is what I go to um, pretty much every day for for work, a full face, and then just something um, pretty defined but still kind of still quite light on the eyes. And then just a little, I like, I prefer a gloss on the lip because, um, I mean, nothing is hydrating to my lips. They are so incredibly dry, but it's easier to put on a little bit of lip balm when it rub rubs off and then reapply the gloss. So that's usually what I go for. Um, so yeah, there we go. It's the finished face. Um, I did want to say just a couple of things before I sign off. Um, uh, when it comes to sustainability, um, is it up to the consumer to save the earth? No, <laughs> absolutely not. But the dollar is very, very powerful. So if brands uh, start to see other brands that are cruelty free, um, getting a lot more publicity and stuff, they're gonna be like, oh, maybe we should try that. Or if brands see that their vegan products are doing uh, really well compared to their other products, they're gonna come up with more vegan products. So um, vote with your dollar. It's a very, very powerful tool. So um, another thing is I am not perfect. Um, 
I am human and we are all going on this journey together. So if you'd like to come along with me, then uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.